I'm John Begany. And I'm Christine Louise. We're producers at WETA and best friends. We love living in D.C., but finding a place to live here can be tough. Join us as we go house hunting and explore neighborhood options. We're going to tour three properties at three different price points. And try to guess the listing price without going over. And find out what it would be like if, if you, you lived, lived here. here. Welcome to Silver Spring, Maryland. I remember when the AFI Silver Theater was one of the first historic buildings to be renovated here. Well, it also revitalized so much of this block right here. You know, it even brought the Fillmore back across the way. Well, you know, I know you lived here in a high rise. I did. Back in the day. Back in the day. OK. But so much has changed. And Silver Spring, there's there's a lot to this area. Well, Silver Spring is actually huge. I mean, it goes, you know, if you think about it, we're downtown. And if you go this way, there's good old Wheaton. And then up this way, it goes all the way up through Colesville and Burtonsville. So. There's a lot of different neighborhoods, a lot of different types of housing. So your dollar goes a long way in Silver Spring. More bang for your buck. Well, that's always good. But we're also going to be looking at three different homes today that I'm really excited to see. I'm excited, too. OK, Tina, so we're going to head out of downtown Silver Spring to meet our realtor for the day, Koki Adasi. Koki really knows the area because he grew up around here. That's right. And he's been a realtor in the area for more than 15 years. And just like that, we're here. Ooh, it even comes with this charming neighborhood, too. You know, it's hard to believe that we're only a few minutes away from downtown Silver Spring. Hi, Koki. Hey, Koki. Hi, Doc Christine. How you doing? Nice Great. to meet Great. you. All right, guys, we're here at the first property of the three that we're going to see today. You know I love Silver Spring, very special uh, to me. This is a really, really cute home. Uh, this is a beautiful, quaint property here in Highland View Park. First thing you notice is how beautiful the house shows from the street. Now, this is a 1940 build, uh, Cape Cod style property. The main level has wonderful hardwood floors, updated kitchen, updated bathroom. Bathroom to me feels like kind of like a spa when you enter. And uh, upper level has a nice attic space, which is finished. And the ceiling height is tall enough for me to stand. So, oh well, that's a nice bonus. As you'll see in the lower level, it's a perfect setup for an in-law suite or Airbnb. Make sure to check out the back deck, which is nice Trex decking. Easy maintenance, but also very nice to sit on and relax and enjoy the beautiful view of your backyard. So beautiful. What do you guys think? Want to head on in? I can't wait to take a look. Me Let's too. Let's do it. Let's go. Aw, this is super cute. This is just as I imagined the style home to be. I love this entryway. So do I. And look, it's so efficient. You can sit down on the bench, you can put your shoes underneath, you can hang your coats. But I know what you liked right from the get-go when we walked in. I love the wood screen. That's really, really cute. It is. And you know, I love these style homes. Mm -hmm. What I love most is this hardwood floor because you know it's original, it's refinished. It's and it really... creaks just the right it amount. Does. It's it kind is. of charming. It is. Love this living room. It's a great place to entertain and kick back. You just want to make yourself right at home. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make you. Little. Oh, well, thank you. There, there you go. OK, that's enough oh, for you. It's, it's empty. It's a, well, it's very dry gin. It's a dry martini. Oh, very dry. thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Now, I'm noticing the one thing that you absolutely love, fireplaces. Wood-burning fireplaces. Love the smell. I love the pops. You know, there's, it's something that gas doesn't have. And this is just a very traditional Cape Cod feature. I love it. I want to check out this sunroom. Let's do it. Put the enough I, drinking. You're cut off. There's there nothing. You're there. cut off. Oh, this is great. This is just what I imagined. Yeah, great for an office. And you know, this is the coolest room in the house so far. I don't mean like, hey, that's a cool room. I mean like, it's actually I, I, feels I got it. Yeah, cool. yeah. Let, let's yeah. go check out the kitchen. It's my okay. porches too. Yeah. yeah. And here we are in the dining room. And I think it's a perfect size for this It house. is. And you know, if you wanted to, you could put in even a little larger table. And I like how they did this floating buffet. Well, you know how I feel about floating furniture. For me, it just collects dust buddies. And you know, <laughs> I'm not the best housekeeper. Not the best housekeeper. <laughs> Check out the kitchen? Yep. Wow, this is actually a very nice sized kitchen. Even though it's small, it has a lot of cabinet space. And counter space. And counter space, you're right. And again, Lights. It's mm -hmm. got three, two windows and a door. I think that's what makes it seem a little bigger, too. Love the little side porch out back, you know, the deck. That's where it's at. It'd be out there every day. Right, right. And it's you can, you know, wash dishes, do stuff. 
I, I like it. I think it fits very well for this size. Wow, you were multitasking there. I am. I'm multitasking. <laughs> and speaking of multitasking, you want to check out downstairs? Yes, ma'am. Wow, this looks like a whole other living space down sure here. Sure does. Oh, it's because it is. Wow. Huh. Little living area. And you know, the ceilings, you know, can feel a little low in a basement, but this feels really actually good. I think if you were 6'5", they would seem Maybe a little Maybe a little. Ah. Oh. oh, this is a nice size space. Very nice. This floor, look just that little living room there, and that's a great rental. It would, it would, or if you have family coming or an in-law suite. Yep. But, you know, how would you like to have guests over and say, hey, you have your own fireplace? Sounds dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds cozy. So, let's check out the upstairs. Now. Wait, 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 put the brakes on. We haven't even seen the rest of this floor. It, oh, you're right. This house gets oh bigger and bigger by the second. So this looks like it's the main bedroom. And it's actually a nice size room. Plenty of room for a good sized bed, oh, look dresser. Look how pretty the trees are outside. Yeah, what a nice Lush. view. Yeah, yep. really nice. Yep. Okay, let's go check out, let's see. The bathroom. The bathroom. You know, it's a modern look in a 1940s house. Yeah. Do you know what's great about this bathroom? What's that? <laughs> I can sit, I can brush my teeth. You can multitask. I can do everything. Oh, and this would be the second bedroom, but um, it looks like they've been using it as an office and a laundry room. So this is an off the laundry, laundry room. room. Let's um, just call it a multi-purpose room. That sounds good. That's great. I'll take it. So let's go check out the upstairs now. Oh, cute doors. They are cute. Yeah. Nice stairs. Watch your head. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. This is a cute. nice surprise. It is a nice room for a bedroom or a TV room, right? It is, or a little uh, play area. But you know, what I love is the built-in file cabinet. Well, wow, that's where all the secrets are kept. Why don't we take a little seat here, mm -hmm. have a little talk. So now that we've seen the entire house, mm -hmm. do you have a listing price in mind? I think I have a listing price in mind. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's go talk to Koki then. Sounds good. Oh, okay. You have to watch them. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Oh. So what'd you guys think? Really cute. Super nice house. cozy. That lower level, it is perfect for an uh, Airbnb or sure. an in-law in suite. suite. Could be a great income generator. Very much Sure so. enough. John, what do you think? I love the kitchen for such a small space. It is a lot of cabinetry in there. And of course, out back is my favorite. I love the side porch. I love the deck. The deck is my favorite, too. I practically yeah. live out there. You just sit out there and relax and you know, listen to the birds chirp. See how quiet it is? It is. It's very so quiet. So peaceful here. Yeah, That's why I think it makes it a great family home, because the neighborhood is so quiet. Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is the first house of three that we're going to see today. I know you guys have a competition going on here. Just a little, little bit. Just a little just bit, right? Tiny. Yeah. So remember the details of the house. Built in 1940, nice Cape Cod, uh, four bedrooms, two full bathrooms, 1,800 square feet, spread across three levels. You've seen all the updates already. Newer windows, updated kitchen, updated bathrooms, and potentially an Airbnb space in the basement. Sweet. So what are your thoughts? Well, first of all, let's let's talk about the rules. The first rule is I always win. <laughs> Which is not a rule. <laughs> yeah. So whoever comes closest to the listing price without going over is the winner. It's like Price is Right. It is. Exactly. It's Price is Right. Are you ready to guess? I am. I am. So I'm going to let you guess first. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. I am going to make a guess of 525,000. 525, okay, Christine. I say you're, you're, you're too low. I mean- Well, go big or go home. Going, I'm going to go with 545,000. So you have 525. Yes, sir. And 545. Mm -hmm. and if I took the average of both guesses, then you'd be right at the list price of $535,000. Oh. Applause all around. Thank you. Thank I, you, everybody. I'm not really applauding. Congratulations, Christine. <laughs> we have two more houses to see. And I'm I... rooting for you, all right? Oh, Thank you. Oh and I can't wait to see them. All right, let's go check them out. OK, well, I'm just going to stand here and bask in my glory. Feels good to win. All right, wait for me. Don't go. <laughs> Don't go.
I love Silver Spring because you get the city feel of DC without actually paying the DC pricing. Um, and, and all throughout the city, there's hidden artwork uh, that's everywhere. Um, there's an acorn on one side of this city, a huge hand on another side, so that, that's a big thing for sure. We're here at Acorn Park, site of the original Silver Spring, which I bet you didn't know was filled with lots and lots of silver. Actually, John, the name comes from the discovery of a mica-flecked spring in 1840. Mica-flecked spring, you say? <laughs> right. Oh, no! So from the mural down the block to the real thing, here we are in downtown Silver Spring and the heart of it all at the crossroads of Georgia and Colesville Road. And I know you know this area really well because you used to live literally across the street. I lived right across the way at the Twin Towers. That was a long time ago, <laughs> and boy, have things changed. Back then, you know, things were quite different. Uh, Tasty Diner was across the street, and now you have the old Discovery Building on that block. I'm standing in front of the Tasty Diner, which for me has always been a place that I have celebrated milestone moments in my life. The Tasty Diner has been here since 1946 originally, um, and it was actually at the heart of Silver Spring on Georgia Avenue and Colesville Road. When Discovery Channel moved its headquarters here, the Tasty Diner actually moved three blocks away. And I think the fascinating thing about it was the community really heralded and championed the move of this diner, and they literally picked it up and put it on a flatbed truck, and they placed it here. My name is Lisa Wilkes, and my family has owned the Tasty Diner for 50 years. My husband was in charge of the move. He was the project manager, and I didn't know him at the time. We're now married, we have three kids, and it's just kind of a win-win situation really is a family-owned restaurant, but also a family community as well. They're not just customers. I mean, honestly, they're family. OK, so John, you know a little bit about this next property, right? Yes, I do. OK, so we're headed to another side of Silver Spring to an address at the National Park Seminary. It's like a whole other world. So. It was a resort hotel in the late 1800s, a school for young women until the 1940s, and then an army medical facility until the early 2000s, and now it's been converted into private residences. Well, it appears Koki is just full of surprises. This is a fantastic neighborhood, Koki. Yeah, so this is quite different from our first property that we saw. We are standing in front of the firehouse here at the power plant in the historic National Park Seminary. This place is rich with culture and history. And uh, to speak about that, I have someone very special, the developer of this project, wow. who is Carl Vogelmeyer. Yeah. Hi, Carl. So you are the developer of this part of the seminary, which is incredible. Tell us about it. Well, this part of the seminary is uh, made up of three buildings. Mm -hmm. It uh, is a power plant, a fire station, and a music hall. Cool, cool, and cooler. Yeah. We bought this building three years ago, and uh, it was in disarray. Mm -hmm. The floor you're sitting at, it caved in. So when you're redesigning these, what kind of uh, design process do you have in mind? We try to do a lot of repurposing of pieces that we find. These buildings, you notice that the outsides are almost identical to what they were when they were originally created. In the inside, you know, we've used a lot of the reclaimed wood, for instance, and you know, making sure that it's exactly as it was. And that's the defining point of how the building is to be developed. We're coming up to the practice house. The practice house originally was uh, servants' quarters for the hotel that was here back in the 1800s. Wow. And when the girls were here, it was turned into a practice house for music practice uh, purposes. And <laughs> all of the rooms were seven by seven, nine by nine, tiny little rooms. Yeah. That's because yeah. you weren't going anywhere. You were just going to practice. <laughs> hey, Koki. Hey. How Koki. You guys doing? How was your time with Carl? Interesting. That was, that was really cool. But after you describe what he's done, I cannot wait to see the inside of this unit. Me too. Awesome. Well, this is a phenomenal location here. We are just a mile from Forest Glen Metro. We're close to my favorite restaurant, Pachi's. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're also close to Rock Creek Park as well. So if you, know, if you like biking, like you know, walking trails and whatnot, very close to this property, very convenient inside the Beltway. Uh, I can't wait to take a look inside. Let's go. 
So, John, the first thing you know what I'm drawn to in this unit is the reclaimed work. Yes. No. I'm always drawn to anything aesthetically like that. Nice touch against the modern uh, quartz countertops, too. This is like one big living area with the living space, the kitchen, and the dining room. And this is a big kitchen. It is. You've got ample counter space, yes. but you also have great cabinet space. Great appliances. Five burner stove. Kitchen a microwave, which is really groovy. And you know, we always have to check the water pressure here. It's one good sink, too. <laughs> That's nice. But you know, again, I love the waterfall design. Me too. It really does add a nice look to it's it. It's a nice clean edge to it. It is. Yep. It's a great space. Yeah. So let's go check up the upstairs. This is nice. I've Beautiful stairs. Upstairs. Yeah. OK, so this looks like it's the bigger of the two bedrooms. Wow, look at the windows and how much light comes in here. But the size of the room is really nice. Yes. Although it doesn't have the ensuite. You know, it doesn't really need an ensuite, I don't think. This would be like a guest suite, mm -hmm. but this is the bathroom. I think it's beautiful. And it's fancy. Very European. And wow. Now, this is the smaller of the two bedrooms. Yeah. Nice little mm -hmm. bedroom, compact, mm -hmm. bright. But for a smaller bedroom, it's not even really that small. It has a good cohesive feel to this whole floor. It does. Let's go check out the basement level. Third and final. Let's okay. do it. Oh, this is a nice space. It is. We'll call this the bonus room. Well, you know, it works perfect as a home office. Yep. Or you can even have a bedroom. And really seemingly nice. lots of storage in these side cabinets. I'm guessing that's uh, storage. Another. Oh, wow, the washer dryer. Washer that's and dryer, nice. very nice. Boy, this is nice. This is impressive. This is the, this is the biggest design. bathroom in the house. It has that same sleek design. Yeah, very clean. I really like it. You know, seeing all three levels, mm -hmm. the high-end finishes, the design, I, I think I've got a number. OK, okay. let's go find Koki. Let's do that. So, Koki, you are spot on with this unit. I thought both of you would, would appreciate this. I Very did. Much you know, so. I, I love the reclaimed wood and the history that Carl was talking about. You can see it yeah. in there. And you can see the love and craftsmanship, too. Makes it super special, and uh, I think it even elevates the price. Yeah. OK, I have to admit, uh, I'm a little nervous on this one, because you're, you're more familiar with the area. I am. So do you want to go first? Or no, I think you should go. OK, I was actually hoping you what would go. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. Oh, yeah. That's really true. <laughs> OK, well, taking... Look, look, before you guess, Okay. this is a two bedroom, two and a half bath property. Yes. Over 1,600 square feet. There's actually parking below and storage that is one of the as well. Nice. OK, I didn't know So that. you got to factor that into okay. the price as well. One other thing before I make my winning guess. Yes. What are the HOA and condo fees? Great question. The condo fees here are 273 a month. And the HOA fee is $130 a month. A so deal. very reasonable for what's offered here. It really it's is. It's such a great oh, place. This makes it and harder. a community like this, yeah. OK. So I am going to say this property is listed. I'm going to say $645,000. $645,000. What say you? I'm going to go a little bit higher. Um, $646,000. No, I will say uh, $675,000 to be fair. Another great guess. The correct answer is six ninety nine. Oh. Which <laughs> we were both in the zone. To you were be both fair. in the zone. Both so does that zone. mean great you're split the winner? No, there's only one winner, and that's me. Well, you guys did a great job here. On to the third property. Are you gonna wow us? I have a special treat for you guys. All right. Great. Right, I can't right. wait. Can't Go wait. check it out. Yeah. But I'm I'm gonna win next time. Okay. Well, this is one of my favorite parts of town. Oh, I can see why. Welcome to the new town center of downtown Silver Spring. Well, you can see how vibrant it is. Look at all the great restaurants and shopping. I could hang out here all day. Yeah, love it, right? One of the things I like about Silver Spring is the diversity. There's a lot of people from a lot of different countries, a lot of different backgrounds. When you walk up and down um, the streets, especially around Georgia Avenue, what you'll immediately notice is so many different kinds of restaurants. There is an entire block of Ethiopian restaurants. You can go two blocks further, and you'll come upon La Casita, which is a Salvadoran restaurant serving fresh pupusas, or Cubanos, which is serving Cuban-style food. Right over down here on the plaza, 
Wintertime, they have like skating. And it's just, uh, in the summertime, it's really lively. You have people just living, you know, and a lot of cultures, a lot of sounds, a lot of smells. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty, pretty dope, I love it. The other great thing is Volati's chocolate. It's the best chocolate in the world. Most people don't know it. It's been here for years, and it's right on George Avenue. My family and I have owned the original Velati since 1996. The, the original Velati's has a long history. Even though it says famous Carol since 1866, it started in 1850 in Richmond, Virginia, prior to the Civil War. Um, at the end of the war, their candy shop burned. Um, so instead of rebuilding in Richmond, they um, decided to move to DC. The chocolates that you can see throughout the store, it's all natural, it's made by hand and love, which makes it a little bit tastier, I believe. I have lived here since 2008. It's just a great place to live. Okay, we've looked at two amazing places already, and we have our third home that's new construction. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. So this is a 2020 build. Location is always key in real estate, right? And so this property here is, is within a five-minute walk of five different parks, a mile from Silver Spring Metro, a mile from Tacoma Park Metro, close to restaurants and shops. So what else could you ask for? It's a beautiful house. You can see from the hardy plank exterior, the wonderful you know, white trim with the dark windows. Love the color. I love the carriage garage doors. And inside, you have an electric car charger. So you got a Tesla. There you go. I don't have a Tesla, but I think one should come with the house, Koki. We can work that out. All right, deal. That's wonderful. I can't wait to look inside. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, it's beautiful. This is open and airy. Ah, look at this. Oh. Mudroom. What my mother would have done for a mudroom like this. I mean, how great just to come in with the muddy boots, throw your sports stuff up in the, the little puggies. Yeah. This and look, your little cute. boots are right there, just waiting for you. <laughs> They're even cuter than mine. Well, but it's the cleanest mudroom I've ever seen. <laughs> and there's a half bath. Very nice. So this room is amazing. It's so open and bright and the sunlight coming in. Yeah, the windows are great. It's got the great fireplace yeah. and of course the ship lab. I love that light pickle. These floors are the real McCoy. These are beautiful wood floors. And then, oh my God, the kitchen. This is incredible. I'm gonna be on this side because this is where I- Oh wait, yeah, I cook, I, so I'll be on this side. Okay. Look at this, look, this is amazing. Two extra fridges. Right oh, here. nice. Auto close, right? Mm -hmm. I love the range hood. Well, you know, it mirrors the fireplace. And of course, for hot water. Yeah, hot, water. hot filler. Yeah. Everybody has to have one of those. You know, this kitchen isn't huge, mm -hmm. but it has everything that you need right here. It does. It's very nicely set up. It and exists. this is the best, right? The pantry. This is practically a room until itself. Yeah, I could live in here. All right. Um, oh. Bye, see Bye, ya. I'll, I'll meet you out here. Okay. Finally, solitude, peace. You wanna go check out the upstairs? I would love to. And I love that they've carried the floor color throughout the first floor, up the stairs, and up to the second level. Oh. This must be the owner's suite. Big windows. Look at this. Oh. This is your ensuite, madame. Oh, wow, his and hers. Two very nice walk-in closet, his, hers. Oh my gosh, this is such a selling point. Yeah. Oh, now this is a bathroom. Very oh my nice. Oh gosh, talk about spa-like. That shower. Yeah, that it's beautiful. That is really, really nice. I love the tub. The giant you know, tub. What I love are the details, like simple spigots actually coming out of the wall. You know I gotta see what's this. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. What do you say we check out the other three bedrooms in this uh, beautiful home? Yeah, After you. Thank you. Oh, gotta talk about this closet space. Yes, again. yes, keep dreaming. <laughs> keep dreaming, my dear. Oh, wow. This is the laundry room. Wow. These floors are beautiful. This is very much on trend right now. Ah, this is a good size. And. It connects with the other bedroom and the old Jack and Jill bathroom. I love this Jack and Jill bathroom. Just like the Brady Bunch. It is, Marsha. Stop hogging it, Peter. Into the other 
The back two bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, this is a good size too. Okay, here we go. Bedroom. Okay, wow. another nice size bedroom. This is number four and final with its own private yeah. uh, full bath bath too. Yeah, Very nice. nice. All right, to the basement we go. Well, do you have a price point in your head? I'm, I don't want to intimidate, but I'm, I'm getting I'm, a price I'm point a in, my in my head. Aha, uh -huh. wow. look at this. Wow, this is a lot of space. And polished concrete floors. I love the floors. Yeah, they're durable. You know what reminds me? Back in the day of the roller skating ring? Yeah. You know? You can roller skate down here. Couple skate, have the disco ball going. And another bathroom. So that makes four bathrooms, and five bathrooms, four and a half. It's a full bathroom. So I think we have one more. One more room, room. to go. And it looks like another bedroom. This is really good size. It's a big room. So this could be a, easily a bedroom with a full bath. Nice basement, a lot of living space. Yeah. So. OK, are you go. ready to guess? Yep, let's go talk to Koki. Let's play the game. So what do you Koki, think? That wow, is Koki. amazing. Yeah, I thought the outside was spectacular, but the inside is just as spectacular. What was your favorite? The kitchen was great. The pantry is amazing. For me, I grew up in the country, so the mudroom, that was top of my list. I love that. Now, before we guess, because John's going to need the help, is there anything else you would like to tell us to help us in our uh, game? Sure. Well, now you remember that this property has over 10,000 square feet on this lot. Five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, 4,300 plus square feet of finished living space inside. The wonderful two car garage with the EV car charger for that Tesla. The nice, beautiful gourmet kitchen, the wide plank harbor floors that you like so much, Love the nine foot ceilings on each level. Don't forget the gas fireplace, the owner's suite with a separate tub and shower. Yep. That can go on and on, but you guys realize that this is an amazing property here. So, what are your thoughts on price? You know, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to let you guess first. Wow. That's so generous. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so um, I am going to put in a guess of 1.15 million. Okay. OK. I love the open concept. I love the basement. With the garage and the setting, I'm going to go a little higher. OK? Fair. It's, it's fair. I'm going to go with one. Point two million. Both fair guesses. Thank you. You're both wrong. However, <laughs> Christine, you're closer. Yes, I. The price did. of the home is one point three million dollars. Close. Well, too bad. congratulations. Thank I mean, you. you have to win one time. Thank you. So, Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Koki, I wasn't all that familiar with the area, but I love it. Seeing the different neighborhoods, seeing the environment. It's just been a spectacular day, and I can't wait to come back to Silver Spring. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, and for somebody who was born here and, and lived in many places uh, around the area in Silver Spring, uh, it's been nice to revisit it, and um, you've been great. So we thank you, and we hope to see you again. Awesome. My pleasure. My pleasure. Pleasure is Koki. If you lived here in Silver Spring, I would say come hungry, because all you're going to want to do here is eat as much food as possible. If you lived here and you like Thai, there's a restaurant called Cow Thai right next to a Fillmore. Unbelievable. If you lived here, you would know about El Sapo, and it's one of the few Cuban restaurants in the area. If you lived here in Silver Spring, you would definitely want to come to the Tasty Diner, because they have the best breakfast in town. To find out more about living in the Washington metro area, visit weta.org slash if you lived here.